Hi everybody, this is Marlies Bolin with the Anglophile Channel and my CinemaCon wrap up. You guys have been writing me asking me about two things, Richard Armitage and The Hobbit there and back again. First of all, Richard Armitage, yes, I ran into him at the Warner Brothers presentation. We hugged, we kissed, and ladies, this time I kept my senses open and he smells delicious. <laughs> the first thing he asked about was what did the fans think about our interview and I was able to tell him that you guys absolutely loved it. You loved how relaxed he was, how funny he was and he was really really pleased and he wanted to thank all of you for watching especially those of you that watched multiple times and I know there were many of you the next thing he talked to me about was shooting urban and the shed crew in the UK he said he's having an amazing time he's really pleased with this movie you'll notice that he grew his hair a little longer and I don't know if I'm supposed to say it but he had a little help because it did grow fast since you last saw him in our interview. So we hugged it out, we kissed it out, it was fabulous, and he's really looking forward to you seeing Into the Storm. We saw that preview as well, and all I can say, ladies, is don't worry that he didn't play Mr. Darcy in a 10-minute wet shirt scene. He's gonna have two hours of wet shirt, and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So stay tuned for that. The next thing was Peter Jackson's The Hobbit there and back again. Peter wasn't there to present the movie in person because he's in New Zealand editing it. But he said that you guys are just going to absolutely love it. He said he's really sad to see the, the trilogy come to an end. And then he showed us a quick clip of part three. And all I can say is have your tissues ready. Oh my God, it was amazing. I, my mouth was on the floor and I can just hug and kiss him for bringing this trilogy to us. And all I have to say are two words, Oscar time. So stay tuned for The Hobbit there and back again, coming to you in December of this year. You guys are gonna love it. Thanks for watching. One of the things that um, really blew me away about this movie, apart from Stephen Quayle's 100 mile an hour wind machine in my face every day, um, is the fact that everything in this film is, um, is possible and is completely out of our control. Um, the power of nature is both terrifying and awe-inspiring. Um, but what is more inspiring than that is the, is the power of human spirit when faced with that force.